Let's try another application. This one's going to use the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to give you a minute to read this problem. can't remember reading a problem two or three times, get a feel for what's going on, like what's a guy wire, you know? Um, so, you know, we have this guy wire, it's kind of a guide wire to keep something stable. And I'm going to draw my picture. This stick right here is my antenna. Antennas these days don't look like they used to a long time ago. You know, often they're just kind of like a pole looking kind of thing. And this red line is my guy wire, stabilizing it from wind and, and whatever. You know, often there's guy wires going in three directions or, or, or more sometimes, um, but that's, that's pretty common. This guy wire attached to the top of the antenna is one meter longer than the height of the antenna. So remember, I'm comparing the guy wire to the height of the antenna. This is, this is my antenna. Then I'm going to let the height be my letter x. Because I want to write an expression for the length of this that is one meter longer than that. So again, here's my height. One meter longer than that, that would be x plus one, right? For the length of the red line. So I've got my picture going. Um, if the guy wire is anchored three meters from the foot of the antenna. Here's, here's the foot of the antenna and it's anchored over here. So it's anchored three meters from, I've left my units off here, from the foot of that antenna, pretending that the, the thickness of the base is, is negligible. How tall is this? So I want to solve for x. And the only thing that we have to, we have here that will help us is, is to hope that that antenna is perfectly perpendicular to the ground or at a right angle. So we want it to go straight up and down. And with that, we have this theorem called the Pythagorean theorem that says if you square the legs of a right triangle, so this is a leg and this is a leg, so a squared plus b squared is equal to the hypotenuse of a right triangle squared. The hypotenuse is the side that's opposite the 90 degree angle. So in this statement, my legs are the a's and the b values. It doesn't matter where I put them. I'm going to put a 3 in here for a and square that. And then for b, I'm going to put an x and square that. And on the right side, I'm going to put in the length of the hypotenuse, which for me is that x plus 1, that quantity squared. I can't use a zero product rule until I clean this thing up. So this is called the 9. And then over here, I have to foil this out to see what this trinomial is. And I'm not going to show all the steps. I'm just going to do, you know, most of it in my head. So this x times x is this x squared. This x times 1 is 1x. There's another 1x for a total of 2x. And 1 times 1 is 1. Gosh, you know... I've got x squared on both sides of this equation, and I'm thinking I want to solve this by factoring in the zero product rule. I'm wondering if I'm going to keep my x squared term. So let's pretend that that was our goal. Um, so I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides, and oh, when I do that, x squared is going to disappear out of both sides of the equation. I still, maybe I didn't notice, and I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides too. So there's nothing left over here. I'm going to take this up over here. So there's a zero on the right, on the left, I'm sorry, and then a 2x, and this 1 minus 9 is a minus 8. This is no longer a quadratic equation. I don't have to solve this by factoring. I can. I'm welcome to do that, but I don't have to. Let's do it by factoring, and, and you'll see how it will look, and then we'll do it the other way. So the only thing I can do with this is to factor out a 2, and I do have the zero product rule thing going. There is no point in my setting 2 equal to 0 because it's not true. And it doesn't let me solve for x. So I don't bother with that. That is one of the factors. But this x minus 4, it gets set equal to 0. And when I add 4 to both sides, I find out that the antenna, which I believe is x, so the antenna is 4 meters. So I, I should say here that 4 meters is 
the height of the antenna. Now, if I had decided to not solve this by the zero product rule, if I was sitting over here at zero equals two x minus eight, this is just a linear equation, don't forget. You could have just added eight to both sides of this equation, and then you could divide both sides by two and solve this as you have in the past um, for a linear equation and found out that x is equal to four as well. That's really all I wanted. I wanted to know how tall the antenna was. It's four meters. This would be five meters with this base being three. This happens to be what's called a three, four, five right triangle, kind of commonly used in the construction trades. This is my last application that I'd like to share with you um, where we get a, most of the time, get a quadratic equation and we solve it by factoring.